Hey, what's up? My name is Petrowski. I wanted to hop on my cop in a video and make some bold predictions for the next gen gen 9 starter Pokemon because you know what's fun? Make your predictions. You know, if you're wrong, you know, who cares? It's a lot of good fun. You, know, you look a little dumb, but you know what? I'm happy to look a little dumb for some entertainment at the end of the day. So it's always really fun. I don't know. I really enjoy making bold predictions. Uh, can be really rewarding. Can be, you know, you can look stupid, but you know what? Who cares? So I want to say that Sprigatito. I, that's probably not the way to say it, but I like taking Sprigatito. Sprigatito sounds hilarious, so I'm saying Sprigatito. I feel like it's probably like Sprigatio. Sprigatio sounds better, but Sp Sprigatito sounds hilarious. So, competitive Sprigatio or <laughs> Sprigatio, Sprigatio. Anyways, the green cat Pokemon. I like how it literally says green cat Pokemon. That's very funny to me. Or grass cat. Oh my god, I'm already misreading. So, grass cat Pokemon. Um, this thing, I kind of wish slash want it to go grass normal type uh, and i think it'll definitely be more physical damage based uh in my opinion than special unless so my two predictions are it'll either go grass normal or grass psychic and the psychic prediction is almost purely based off of those purple like pink eyes i think they usually kind of do that with certain psychic pokemon i think it's a kind of a telltale sign so my two predictions are either grass normal and then it goes physical or grass special and then it goes probably more mixed to leaning special um but it'll be interesting to see what it does and i'm covering the little ducks description we'll see how that goes as well so the capricious attention capric capric yeah attention to grass pokemon i think it'll be the fastest out of these three starters out of these three starters stat wise i'm gonna go down the line so if it's grass normal I'm going to guess at final evolution, I'm, all these stat guesses will be at final evolution. I'm going to guess that at final evolution, it'll be similar to superior stats, where it's like 90 base stat attack, uh, maybe like 80 to 90 base stat special attack. This is for the grass normal version. Um, maybe like 70 to 80 base HP um, and like 70 to 80 base defenses. And then speed will probably be 100 to 115, maybe to 110. Uh, those, are, those are my bold guesses for the normal for if, if it goes normal grass type if it goes grass psychic it'll change up things a lot right if it goes grass psychic i'm guessing 70 base hp 60 to 70 base attack um let's go 75 let's go 75s on both the defense and special defense and special and special yeah defense and special defense if special attack uh will probably be around i don't want i don't want to say quite 100 if it goes grass psychic, yeah, 110. I think if it goes grass, the psych, the psychic grass route, it'll be 110 base stat special attack, and then speed, uh, it'll once again be that sort of like 110, maybe a little faster if it's grass psychic, maybe like the 115 to 118. I don't know if it'll be 120, like 115 to 118. Um, now on to Fukoko, who is my favorite starter of the batch. I've been hearing a lot of predictions from him. Someone said uh, fire ground, and I think I actually agree with that prediction. I think he could go a couple different ways. Someone also said he's going to be fast, though, which I disagree with. I, I do not see him being... I think it'll be an Embor situation, unfortunately. Um, I think he'll end up being fire ground, a fire ground slow Pokemon, which kind of sucks, right? Um, we have enough fire ground Pokemon. We don't have many, like, fast fire ground Pokemon. Uh, we have, like, Camerupt, you know, too slow, like, all these, like, slow fire ground types. Um, so I would love to see him be fast, but I don't think it's going to happen. His, I base my, that prediction off of his description being the laid back fire croc. I don't see the laid back fire croc be like, it, it literally does thing at its own pace. I assume it's going to be really slow. I assume this thing is going to have monstrous base stats other than speed and be really, like really slow, really bad for storyline. Might see some decent competitive play in trick room though. I, I could see it having access to dragon tail would be super cool as a, as a move based on like it's you know small tail so far but let's go ahead. so i think it's gonna be like 100 maybe even higher like 100 to 130 base hp is my guess 100 to 130 base hp at final evolution um 80 to 90 actually it'll probably be yeah my guess will be 130 base hp 110 base attack 90 base defense and then like 65 base special defense uh and then special attack will be negligible maybe like 50 or 60 for a start they usually try to keep starters like mixed um so you can like so any like casual players can use them through the storyline to a decent extent um and then speed probably like 70 or 80 base special attack then 
Uh, speed will be like, I think 45. I think 45 speed on this thing. Like, like I think this thing will be like 40 to 50 speed tier. Now on to, it's all my, all my, yeah, Fire Croc, all my predictions for Fukuoka, my personal favorite pick. On to Quaxley, I'm going to move my cam for this. So I don't want to be covering that. So the Honest Duckling, the Earnest and Tidy Duckling Pokemon. I think Quaxley, I think this is like, I don't know. I feel like all of these starters, all of these Pokemon really stream Gen 5 to me. I feel like it's, except for, he'll be like the kind of oddball out, but Fukoko and Quaxley, I can see going pretty Gen 5 with like the Embor, like Fukoko will be very, very Embor-like. Uh, Quaxley, I don't know if it'll be a, like Samurott or not. Maybe I'm, okay, let's, I think Quaxley is going to be a decent, he'll be the mid, he'll be the second fastest. He'll be like a 100 base speed, would be my guess, Pokemon. Uh, let's go, let's go, let's go, go through it. So, I'm going to guess that he's going to pick up the flying typing, like, as his final evolution. So, my typing guesses are either grass normal slash grass psychic, and then fire ground, and then uh, water flying. It's, I, like, I feel like he's the easiest to guess typing-wise. I don't see them going anything crazy with him. I think he'll just be water flying. Um, he might have access to, I would love to see him with access to, like, aqua jet. I think he'll end up being a physical attacker. I think, I don't, I don't know why, that there's, like, no real prediction for that. Um, I could see him being physical or like pretty mixed. I don't know why, but earnest and tidy, those descriptions for whatever reason to me stream mixed Pokemon. So I could see him having access to like aerial ace and then like maybe like water spout. I would love to see him with water spout or some dumb thing. Uh, him. Yeah. Surf. I guess I have access to like surf and fly, surf and aerial ace, uh, surf and maybe acrobatics. He might have access to acrobatics would be super sick. Could be cool. I could see him with like, I don't know if he'll, I wonder if he'll scald. That's a good prediction. I feel like he might oddly night not have access to scald i feel like he'll be like surf acrobatics um but he's the easiest one i think he'll be water flying pretty like even stats all around let's go through him i'm gonna guess that he's gonna have uh 70 to 80 base hp uh 70 base attack maybe 80 base attack i'll do uh, yeah i'll do 70 base hp 80 base attack 85 base defense 75 base special defense uh special attacks also going to be like 70 let's say i'll say 80 attack 70 special attack yeah i'll go with that and then speed will be like 100 yeah that's that's my that's my basic guesses for that dude and that's pretty much all i wanted to talk about today i wanted to like come on here make some bold and wild claims let me know what you guys think in the comments below i would love to see your guys' opinions this is all speculation this is all you know meaningless fun i don't know, i enjoy this stuff it's fun for me right so let me know if you guys enjoy it too let me know in the comments below. Like the video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe for future Pokemon and Pokemon content. Check out all the playlist links down below if you want to see more content. I have a kind of ton of content on my channel. Join the Discord if you want to learn more about Pokemon and Pokemon itself. What else? And then finally, consider becoming a YouTube member to me for five bucks a month. If you want to go above and beyond, support my channel. It means a ton. I do do YouTube full time, so I appreciate any support. Thank you all so much for watching. Have a great day. Hopefully, I'll see you guys next episode.